We did the Western Conference. Now it's time to do the Eastern Conference. The Eastern Conference is a lot more harder because we don't know how these teams play because they added so many different teams, added so many different things. So I really don't know how the Eastern Conference is going to play out. But I'm going to predict. I'm not going to be scared of it. I'm going to predict. For the first team, I think going to win over 60. For the East, the only team that went over 60, I believe, is the Cleveland Cavaliers. I think with them healthy, last year they made the trades and finished with over 50. I think this year they stay healthy. And they even if they don't stay healthy, it's just going to be hard to beat this team defensively. How could you stop this team with all these weapons? And they pretty much got restricted free agent rights to Tristan Thompson. So they going to have him back because they're going to match any offer probably. So... And they get Andrews and Verge out back. So it's going to be hard to beat this Cleveland Cavaliers team in general, even in a seven-game series. So they're going to be number one. Number two, people forgot about this team ever existed. But Chicago going to be the second-best team in the East. They would have been if it wasn't for Atlanta giving us a surprise. But everybody going to come back healthy. Everybody was banged up. They couldn't stop injured. They had bad offense. Their offense was better, but it wasn't a fluid enough. And their defense was lacking. I think with Fred Hoiberg, if he can get them easier baskets and be more creative offensively, they can get easier baskets there before they stay healthy. This team has a whole lot of depth and a whole lot of different lineups they can throw out. You don't need to play Paul Gasol 30 minutes no more. You got all these different players that can play. Rest your starters so that way they can make the playoffs. Play good enough in the regular seasons to get the playoffs. But keep your starters healthy so that way they can go to war in the playoffs. I like this Bulls team that much. I think they can win from 55 to 57 games easily just based on talent. But I haven't seen Fred Hoiberg coach. I never even knew he existed because I don't watch college at all. So I got to see how he coach and I got to see how he using his players. So I, I'm guessing right now that they're going to be the second best team in the East. Number three, on paper... I think it'll be Miami. They always have injury problems. Dwayne Wade, Lou Aldain, even Chris Bosh always get a hamstring and stuff. This team stay injured. So that way I, I just can't see them winning that many games just because I predict them to be injured. But with Justice Winslow and Gerald Green, it adds more offense when Dwayne Wade and Lou Aldain get injured. They got people to come in and replace them offensively they're not going to be as good defensively besides just as Winslow. But they come, they add in some shooting guard and a small forward. They can come in and carry the load just in case Wade or Dane go down. They got replacements offensively. And Adam Amari Stoudemire, another big body that can stretch out that floor and knock down a mid-range jumper when Chris Bosh. And then you get back uh, the power forward, Meg Roberts, who can stretch out the floor and play making a pick and roll too. So they can have a different lineup, different versatility, but injuries is the key for this team. Can they stay healthy? And I think that's going to give them a third. Same with Chicago. Can they stay healthy? But the Chicago Bulls is way deeper, and they got way better players than me on, on paper. So I'm going with Miami number three. Number four is a toss-up, but I'm going to go with Milwaukee Bucks number four. They add Jabari Parker. They add an offensive center with Greg Monroe. They easily should win around 53 to 54 games just based off talent in defense they added more offensive players more floor spacing with jabari and more a better score in the post with greg monroe i like this team at number four number five this is where it gets tricky because you can go anywhere right now i'm going to go with the Atlanta hawks at the number five i know it's going to be hard they probably put paul mills up at the three horford at the four tiago at the five with kyle corver and jeff t I just don't like the bench enough. I don't think they can catch people by surprise. They fell off. They barely beat the Nets. They barely beat the Wizards. They grinded out games. They played championship basketball. But I think it's going to catch up to them in a regular season. I think they fall from number one to number five. But I'm just predicting it. I could be wrong again. Number six, I'm going to go with the Toronto Raptors. Damari Carroll, Kyle Lowry, DeMar DeRozan, Jonas. I like the team is either them or the Wizards. The Wizards, I'm not trusting Kelly Aubrey right now. I'm not trusting Otto Porter, but it's between them two. So I probably might go with number six. I'll go Washington six, Toronto seven, 
And number, well, wait, wait, wait. I go Indy number five, Indy six, Washington seven, eight, Toronto. And that's my top eight. I'm going to put it just like that. I don't think Indiana going to be better than the Hawks. I don't think they're going to be better than the Bucks. I don't think they're going to be better than even the Bulls and the Heat and the Cavaliers. I think Indy get that sixth spot healthy with their defense and their new lineup. They got to get some time to get some chemistry and gel together because they added a lot of new pieces. Once they work out the kinks, I think they fall. They go to the six after the Hawks. Seven, Wizards, eight, Toronto, because they need that power forward and they need a better bench. Once they figure out the bench and once they figure out that power forward situation, I think Toronto can get that eighth spot. But it's going to be between them, the Nets, the Celtics, the Orlando Magic, all of them going to fight for the eighth spot. But I think Toronto get it because of Kyle Lauren, DeMar DeRozan, and they be a first-round exit. And they got DeMar Carroll, too. So I think they get that eighth spot because I can't put them over Washington. Because I think Otto Porter and Kelly Aubrey, they can do enough to develop enough to just knock down a spot up three and get to the free throw line. That's all I need them to do. I think that I, I think they can do it. So that's my top eight. I'm going to go through it again. This is so people, I messed it up. Cleveland, Chicago, Miami, the Milwaukee Bucks. Number five is the Hawks. Indiana, six. Seventh is the Wizards, eight is Toronto. Let me know what you guys think of y'all list. And I'm going to put the con I'm gonna put it in the comment section below. Comment, like, subscribe, and share. Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis is signing out. And let me know what you guys think. And make sure you check out my older videos. If you like this video, like my older videos, subscribe. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section below with y'all listeners.